Dear students, dear aspirants, welcome to Galant IAS. Myself, Justin, and to this is our Let's Score 120 Plus in Prelim Series. Here, we will be solving the trickiest questions, potential questions for your upcoming prelims examination. Yeah, common sense. Just apply your presence of mind, apply your common sense, and solve many questions accurately. Okay? Yeah. <clears throat> With a reference to the revolt by Nati, naval ratings consider the following statements. Whenever the historical events and personalities are in the news, please refer revise their static portions because you can expect questions. In fact, if you check the previous year's trend, many such questions being framed and asked by UPSC. Okay. So, Rin Mutiny was obviously, it was a current affair, it was in the news. Rin Mutiny was the last nail on the coffin of this British imperialism, British rule in India. This is a two statement type question. First statement, one of the triggers for this rain strike was the arrest of writing BC that who had scrawled Kit India on HIMS taxon. Problem is, certain things, facts are registered in the mind. Without reading the statement completely, you will make to, you will come to a conclusion that is, that statement is correct. Because you notice to the word BC that, you notice to the word that uh, uh, Kit India Okay, but read the statement completely. UPC, in order to make the statement trickiest or in order to, yeah, in order to uh, like lead you to a like uh, total confusion, they will be reframing the statement by changing some words. Here you see, all things are okay, but this H-A-I-M-S taxon is not fitting. Because it was not H-I-M-S, it was H-M-I-S. His Majesty Indian Ship, His Majesty Indian Ship. They will simply change the word. For example, you remember a question, yes, uh, this uh, Trishala was the daughter of this uh, Lichavi chief Chedaga, Trishala was the mother of this Lichavi chief Chedaga, Trishala, the mother of Vardamana Mahavira, she was daughter of Lichavi chief Chedaga or she was sister of Lichavi chief Chedaga. By simply twisting daughter or maybe sister, they are confusing you. So similar way, by changing some words, you can see that when the British rule in India, Many of these Indian establishments, they are named with the Indian words, indigenous words or Sanskrit words. Even today also we follow that legacy. Many of our establishments, even it is space or science or many, many of us, many of our like uh, findings or maybe inventions, many of our uh, like, uh, like whatever, satellites, whatever. It's having indigenous names, Sanskrit names, okay. Many of our schemes are having Sanskrit names or maybe indigenous names. So, this uh, American warship name will not be borrowed for Indian ships, okay, or Indian naval establishments. So, that statement is wrong because of the last words, okay. Workers of Bombay Presidency supported the British to suppress the mutineers. No. In fact, Rin Mutiny was the last nail on coffin of British rule because Rin mutineers or ratings, they enjoyed the support of armed forces and the civilians, Indian civilians. British realized that, uh, yes, they have no, no base no base in India anymore because even the armed forces also supporting the mutineers against the British, civilians also turned against this British. So both the statements are not correct here. Question is asking for not correct. Mostly what happens with many aspirants because of your carelessness, even though they are asking not correct and they have bolded this not, you know, you will be ending up with that correct statements. Don't do that. Avoid your carelessness, avoid your silly errors. Because of your silly errors, many of you guys are not able to close the cutoff. So take care, address these smaller, minor issues and you will close the cutoff. So they are asking for not correct. Your answer has to be C, both 1 and 2 only. There is another question with reference to leaders of 1857 revolt and Sanders. Consider the pairs. Three, three pairs are given here. Maybe you don't know the first and second, but you know the third. Rani Lakshmi Bai from your childhood days, okay, either in Balarama, Balabumi or in your like uh, children's like uh, whatever, your own magazines or in your school books, you might have studied this Lakshmi Bai, story of Lakshmi Bai. And one thing is already registered in the mind, she is from Jansi. Okay, she is from Jansi, which is UP, and she has no connection with this uh, Satara or M Maharashtra. Okay, by simply knowing that uh, the third statement, third pair is not correct, you can apply elimination. Then when that sense is applied, B, C, D is automatically eliminated. Only left choice is, you know, yes, only left choice is one only. One only is your answer. Okay, so take care. Sometimes 
when you apply your elimination strategy or your common sense or your logical educated guts you can you can find this accurate choice accurate answer which of the following not correct regarding 1919 act this 1919 government of india act 1919 important constitutional reforms are very important i used to tell i used to tell you guys constitutional reforms are important every year they are asking minimum one question from this this is 1919 government of india act three statements are the 1919 act to replace the existing bicameral system you apply your common sense here bicameral system introduced by this 1919 act only before that there is no bicameralism okay there was no upper house lower house nothing system was there here yeah central bicameralism first introduced by this act let it be introduced here then you can replace it later okay so it there is no removal or replacement of this existing bicameral system this bicameral system just got introduced by this act that way you eliminate the first one uh then you see act to unify the provincial and central budgets with the central being authorized to make single budget no there is clear demarcation between central and state budget central and state subjects okay division of power division of subjects between central and states so the second statement is wrong the provincial subjects were administered by governor and his executive council wrong provincial subjects you see that it, provincial diarchy is introduced provincial subjects were divided like a transferred subjects and reserved subjects transferred subjects they are expenditure departments responsible departments put under governor and his elected indian ministers these ministers are responsible to legislature governor has no responsibility to legislature okay reserved subjects are income generating departments okay they are authoritarian departments they were put under the governor and his executive council governor has no responsibility to legislature no answerability to legislature so there is a, a, a responsible and authoritarian governments double government introduced in the provinces double government introduced in the provinces like a transferred subjects reserved subjects transferred subjects they are responsible departments reserved subjects authoritarian departments so here we shall say that transferred subjects were under or administered by governor and his elected indian ministers and reserved subjects by governor and governor and his executive council ultimately governor is enjoying that veto power or he is the ultimate authority over transferred and reserved subjects okay so this way all the three statements are wrong here not correct they are asking here so your answer d 1 2 and 3 only should be your answer that's it just to go for solving maximum number of questions these questions we taken from our uh, yeah prelims the final lab free test series test 3 only so all of you attempt those test series which will be definitely helpful for you subscribe our channel and uh, stay tuned watch our series share with your friends it will be helpful for other aspirants also that's it thank you